The veteran kicker, Robbie Gold, set to get us started. And off we go from Lambeau. Keyshawn Nixon now from his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. And he's taken down. Back at his own seven. A situation they'll certainly want to avoid going forward. An early second and long they're facing. Another try after the first down sack. Rodgers. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. And this drive is almost over before it began, thanks to a great defensive effort. Sack on first down, followed by an incompletion. One more good rep, and they get off the field. And I don't think this is the script they had in mind for their opening drive. This is third and long. Here's Rodgers. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Tashawn Gibson. And into the end zone, a pick six for the 49er D as they score the touchdown. Robbie Gold on for the extra point. And the 49ers grab a 7 to nothing lead. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Nixon now from his end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. Again, it's Jones, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. We're backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. And he'll let this go deep for Lazard, and that's caught inside the 35. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So the big play has him all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. A great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. What I loved about meeting with these coaches before the game is we didn't even have to ask any questions. They told us that they were going to be aggressive and push the ball downfield. They weren't successful on that play, but look for them to try it again later. Got a man, it's Tunyon. And it's a Packers touchdown. Robert Tunyon, 29 yards. And the Packers are an extra point away from evening this one up. For a big tight end, he can sure move like a slot receiver when he gets a head of steam going. And as a defensive back, you've got a big decision to make when he's moving like that. And oh, he missed it. No good. And they'll remain down by a point. So with a missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. 
pulls it in at the 13. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. to the 49ers now. First and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Lance with a tap forward on the jet sweep. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. And that's something you have to get ready for defensively because in today's NFL, teams will use their wide receivers on jet sweeps, end of rounds. They'll move them back in the backfield and make them running back. Partner, this was much more of a tap pass, but effective nonetheless. And I think both guys love it. If you're a quarterback, it's an easy completion. If you're a wide receiver, you get the easy reception and also a chance to try to make a play with your feet. A Lance finding Debo there for the Niner first. Let's go. Check man. Here's Lance to throw it. Being chased out left. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. And that's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish him as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a say? quarterback on the run. Hey, we'll see right open. From midfield, here's Lance. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 27-yard line. First carry of the game for Christian McCaffrey. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. After one, a one-point game, seven to six. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. To throw, it's Lance. That's complete out left to Ayuk. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. 11 yards for number 11. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there. And they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. They'll try to run with McCaffrey. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Christian McCaffrey. An eight-yard touchdown run. And they're able to add on to their advantage. Lance going to try to throw for this. And this is going to be caught. It's good. And that extends their lead by two more. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Chris take it in at the goal line. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time. Now, Charles, remember they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is going to have to be a longer, more sustained drive if they want to get points. Yeah, a little bit more of a quick strike opportunity last time by where they were on the field, and you're exactly right about that. But now, backed up a little bit. What's that old expression we love to use? Time to matriculate the ball down the field and try and do it again. Out of the shotgun, it's Jones. And not a whole lot to speak of there as they'll bring him down shy of the 20. The Packers on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and nine. On play action, it's Rodgers. 
He finds Watson complete. 30, 10, touchdown, Packers. I think it's fair to say there's nothing that gets a crowd to its feet quite like a big play, and that was something special there. Boy, was he moving. Well, in this league where coordinators worry so much about drawing up the right routes, blocking assignments, misdirections and stuff, they have these precise arrows and movements. Sometimes the best plays just come from the schoolyard where you look at your fastest guy and say, go long, go get it, big man. And his top speed is computed by Next Gen Stats, 21.6 miles per hour. That's caught, and he is not going to get in here. So the decision to go for two does not pay off as they're unable to cut any further into their deficit. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. Yeah, he'll be out of bounds, just shy of the 30, right about the 29. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Touchdowns on back-to-back -back drives, so a very good flow right now offensively. Hard to slow them down, too, because... And I think the ball's out. And they will set up shop in enemy territory at the 42-yard line. So now our referee looking at the sideline saying, are you sure? But yes, this defense has accepted the penalty. So that means they will not take possession on the fumble ready. recovery. Right. Well, I'm not right. sure why in the world you do that, but that is apparently That's the decision. It. McCaffrey running up the middle. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. On the double. Options galore here, right. second and a few right. inches. Yeah. On the toss, they run wide side with McCaffrey. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Four yards the pickup, first down. Not your normal call in short yardage, but the toss works very well there. Big people out in front being physical, and they pick up a first down. Lance now on first down. Throws the out route and completes it to Samuel. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 15 for the Niners there to first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Here we go, set. Ultra, go ultra. The handoff, McCaffrey running right. He'll take it inside the 25. Well, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Meanwhile, Lance's throw taken in by Samuel. And he's out of bounds, almost gets to the 10. Lance on target to Samuel for a Niner first. We talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Go. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up the first down. McCaffrey. And they'll lose yardage here. They go backwards to the 13-yard line. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. On second and 11 now, Lance. The tight end, Kittle, has it on the left side. 
So the pitch and catch good for 11. And that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Christian McCaffrey in the final seconds of the first half. And the Niners will extend their lead here just before halftime. Gold with the extra point, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. So not much time to work with here. Nine seconds remain in the half as this one is away. A fairly short kick from the 14. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. And with Rodgers behind center, you wonder if they'll take one shot at this. And now this throw incomplete, and that is how this first half will come to an end. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. It's the 49ers out in front, and they will get the football first as well as we are back and started in the second half. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. So for this offense, Charles, remember drive one made it to the end zone. Drive two resulted in the touchdown as well. Now they'll try to make it three for three. Yeah, and you know, they told us all week that this was the plan and this is what they wanted to execute. But did they really believe it would happen this well, this efficiently? I know they'll take it. And afterwards, they'll say, there is never a doubt in our minds we were going to be successful in this one. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. And some space here. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 35. 65 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. And a good push up front, and he's able to navigate his way down inside the 30. Back-to-back -back nice gains, that one for 14 yards and another first. Would you say this offense is locked in right now? They're having no trouble on this drive. What, is it three plays, three first downs? Yeah, you're talking about on the march. They keep this up, they get to that end zone real fast. And now they'll throw with Lance. Steps away. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Off the option, here's McCaffrey. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. 